Grandpa Bill, Grandpa Bill, story time with Grandpa Bill. It's Grandpa Bill's story time. Yay! Hi, I'm Grandpa Bill. Welcome to Grandpa Bill's story time. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, and we're going to sit down and read a good book. Okay, today's book is Toodle. Oh, the train. Toodle. Story by Gertrude Crampton. Pictures by Tybor Gurgly. Okay. Toodle. Far, far to the west of everywhere is the village of Lower Trainswich. All the baby locomotives go there to learn to be big locomotives. The young locomotives steam up and down the tracks, trying to call out the long, sad toot of the big locomotives. But the best they can do is a gay little doodle. Lower train switch has a fine school for engines. There are lessons in whistle blowing, stopping for a red flag waving, puffing loudly when starting, coming around curves safely, screeching when stopping, and clicking and clacking over the rails. Of all the things that are taught in the Lower Train Switch School for Locomotives, the most important is, of course, staying on the rails no matter what. Mm-hmm. All the little trains like to go into school to learn. The head, of the, school, the head of the school is an old engineer named Bill. Bill always tells the new locomotives that he will not be angry if they sometimes spill the soup pulling the dinner, or if they turn the milk to butter now and then. But they will never, never be good trains unless they get 100 A plus in staying on the rails no matter what. All the baby engines work very hard to get 100 A plus in staying on the rails. After a few weeks, not one of the engines in the lower train switch school for trains would ever think of getting off the, the rails no matter what. Well, no matter what. One day, a new locomotive named Toodle came to school. Here is the finest baby I've seen since old 600, thought Bill. He patted the gleaming young locomotive and said, how would you like to grow up to be the flyer between New York and Chicago? If a flyer goes very fast, I should like to be one, Toodle answered. I love to go fast. Watch me. <laughs> like going fast. He raced all around the roundhouse. Good, good, said Bill. You must st st uh, sturdy, study whistleblowing, puffing loudly when starting, stopping for a red flag waving, and pulling the dinner without spilling the soup. These are the trains. Ooh, going fast. But most of all, you must study staying on the rails no matter what. Remember, you can't be a flyer unless you get 100 A plus in staying on the rails. Toodle promised that he would remember and that he would work very hard. He did, too. He even worked hard for stopping for a red waving flag. Toodle did not like those lessons at all. There is nothing a locomotive hates more than stopping. But Bill said that no locomotive ever, ever kept going when he saw a red flag waving. One day, while Toodle was practicing for his lesson and staying on the rails no matter what, a dreadful thing happened. He looked across the meadow he was running through and saw a fine, strong black horse. Race you to the river, shouted the black horse, and kicked up his heels. Away went the horse. His black tail steamed me, streamed behind him and his mane tossed in the wind. Oh, how he could run. Here I go, said Toodle to himself. If I am going to be a flyer, I can't let a horse beat me, he puffed. Everyone at school will laugh at me. His wheels turned so fast that they were silver streaks. The cars lurched and bumped together. And just as Toodle was sure he could win, the tracks made a great curve. Uh-oh. Oh, whistle, cried Toodle. That horse will beat me now. He'll run straight while I take the great curve. Then the dreadful thing happened. After all that Bill had said about staying on the rails no matter what, Toodle jumped off the tracks and raced alongside the black horse. Uh-oh. The race ended in a tie. 
Both Toodle and the black horse are, were happy. They stood on the bank of the river and talked. It's nice here in the meadow, Toodle thought. Then Toodle got back to school. He said nothing about leaving the rails, but he thought about it that night in the roundhouse. Mm -mm. Tomorrow I will work hard, decided Toodle. I will not even think of leaving the rails, no matter what. And he did work hard. He practiced tootling so much that the mayor himself ran up the hill, his green coattails flapping, and he said that everyone in the village had a headache and he would please stop tootling. <laughs> so Toodle was sent to practice staying on the rails no matter what. Stay on the rails, Toodle. As he came to the great curve, Toodle looked across the meadow. It was full of buttercups. It's like a big yellow carpet. How I should like to play in them and hold one under my, my searchlight to see if I like butter, thought Toodle. But no, I'm going to be a flyer and I must practice staying on the rails no matter what. Toodle clicked and clacked around the great curb. His wheels began to say over and over again, Do you like butter? Do you? I don't know, said Toodle crossly, but I'm going to find out. He stopped much faster than any good flyer ever does, unless he is stopping for a red flag waving. He hopped off the tracks and bumped along the meadow to the yellow buttercups. What fun, said Toodle, and he danced around and around and held one of the buttercups under his searchlight. I do like butter, said Toodle, I do. At last, the sun began to go down, and it was time to hurry to the roundhouse. That evening, while the chief oiler was playing checkers with old Bill, he said, It's queer. It's very queer. But I found grass between Toodle's front wheels today. Hmm, said Bill. There must be grass growing on the tracks. Not on our tracks, said the day watchman, who spent his days watching the tracks and his nights watching Bill and the chief oiler play checkers. Bill's face was stern. Toodle knows he must get a 100A plus in staying on the rails no matter what. If he's going to be a flyer, uh-oh. Next day, Toodle played all day in the meadow. He watched the green frog and he played with daisy chains. He found a, a rain barrel and he said softly, toot, toot, shout the barrel. Why, I like, wow, well, I sound like a flyer already, said Toodle. Oh, he's off the rails, though. He's playing, but he's not supposed to get the rails. That night, the first assistant oiler said he had found a daisy in Toodle's belt. The day after that, the second assistant oiler said that he found holy hollyhocks flowers floating in Toodle's eight bowls of soup. Uh-oh. And then the mayor himself said that he had seen Toodle chasing butterflies in the meadow. The mayor himself and that Toodle had looked very silly, too. Early one morning, Bill had a long, long talk with the mayor himself. When the mayor himself left the lower train switch school for locomotives, he laughed all the way to the village. Bill's plan was surely put Toodle back in his tracks, he chuckled. Bill ran from one store to the next, buying 10 yards of this and 20 yards of that, and all, and all you have uh, of the other. The chief oiler and the first second and the third assistant oilers were hammering and sawing instead of oiling and polishing. And Toodle? Well, Toodle was in the meadow watching the butterflies flying and wishing he could dip it and soar as they did. Mm -hmm. It's being a bad train. It's getting off the tracks. Not a store in Lower Train Switch was open the next day and not a person was at home. But by the time the sun came up, every villager was hiding in the meadow along the tracks. And each of them had a red flag. It had taken all the red goods in the lower train switch and hard work by the oilers. But there was a red flag for everyone. Mm, I think they're going to trick Toodle. Soon Toodle came tootling happily down the tracks. When he came to the meadow, he hopped off the tracks and rolled along the grass. Just as he was thinking what a beautiful day it was, a red flag poked up from the grass and waved hard. Toodle stopped. For every locomotive knows, he must stop for a red flag waving. I'll go another way, said Toodle. He turned to the left, and he came up under a waving red flag, this time from the middle of the buttercups. Whoop! When he went to the right, there was another red flag waving. There were red flags waving from the buttercups, in the daisies, under the trees, near the bluebird's nest, and even one behind the rain barrel. And of course, Toodle had to stop for each one, for a locomotive must always stop for a red flag waving. Red flags, muttered Toodle. 
This metal is full of red flags. How can I have any fun? Whenever I start, I have to stop. Why did I think this metal was such a fine place? Why don't I ever see a green flag? Just as the tears were ready to slide down one of his boilers, Toodle happened to look back over his coal car. On the track stood Bill, and in his hand was a big green flag. Oh, said Toodle. He puffed up to Bill and stopped. This is the place for me, said Toodle. There is nothing but red flags for locomotives that get off their tracks. Hurry, shouted the people of Lord Trainswitch, and jump up from their hiding places. Hurry for Toodle the Flyer. Hooray, hooray, I mean, hooray for Toodle the Flyer. Now Toodle is a famous two miles a minute flyer. The young locomotive listens to his advice. Work hard, he tells him. Always remember to stop for a red flag waving, but most of all, stay on the rails no matter what. Oh, he finally learned his lesson, didn't he? Gotta stay in the rails if you're a choo-choo train. Uh, what a nice book. Toodle! Thank you for sharing this book with me today. And come back again for more stories with Grandpa Bill. Goodbye.